Okay, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to make a prop use constrained groups in the cloth room. Now, normally in the cloth room, props don't get constrained groups. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or just simply a limitation of the software, but it's been around for a long time. So the first thing we need to do is turn the prop that we want to use um, constrained vertexes on into a figure. So just take it into the setup room and add a single bone to the scene and you don't even really have to be very careful about the bone, just stick one in there. Um, <coughs> uh, give the bone a name, just call it a ball. And then open up the grouping tool here, new group, uh, ball, and add all. Now all of the group vertexes in the ball are in that bone and actually I'm going to just in case you want to, if you want to manipulate the ball you should probably make the bone straight but uh, I'm not going to do that for this. So now we go back to our pose room and we're going to add uh, our cloth planes that we're going to use for this demonstration. So here's uh, high res square number one and I'm going to add another one. So here's plane one, and I'm going to move it up, and I'm going to kind of get it off to one side here so it'll actually need to be hooked onto that. And I'm going to go ahead and move plane two into the same place, except just a little bit above it, like this. Okay. So what we need to do is we want to hook these vertexes right here so they're constrained to the ball. So let's go into the cloth room and do that. New simulation. Okay. And um, we're going to clothify plane one. And it's going to collide against. You'll note that the ball is now a figure. A ball. Okay. Now when we add the constraint group, get this put in the right spot here. I'm going to do those just a few vertexes right there at the very edge where it touches the ball. Well, it's not really touching it very much, but good enough for demonstration. Okay, and let that simulation calculate. As you can see, it it actually constrained to the ball and if this had just been a prop it would have slid right off like there was nothing there. So now if you want to add a second layer of cloth to a simulation using the same technique you'll just you'll select the uh, second piece of cloth um, new simulation because um, overlying pieces of cloth can't be in the same simulation because they will end up interpenetrating. So we'll clothify the second one and we want it to collide against the ball and the first prop square. Okay. Um, we're going to edit the constraint group again. Now mind you, it's only going to constrain to the ball. It will not constrain to the underlying cloth because the underlying cloth is still a prop. Calculate simulation. And you can see that it's constrained right up here and it is also colliding against the underlying cloth. So that's how you can create two layers of cloth hooked onto a single prop. Well, what was a prop, it's not anymore. <clears throat> okay, hopefully that'll help you get unstuck on how to use uh, a prop with constrained vertexes in the cloth room.